I don't think you can get your stomach pump for that shit either. It spreads kind of fast. Sorry, buddy. My intense monotone prevents me from doing what you ask, even if you are the protagonist. But don't worry, I'll be doing what you ask in the next 15 minutes after you complete the story requested shit in this town. Why not? I just explained it. I sort of sound like Kronk. If I got my Kronk lowered, <laughs> that's a dick joke. In fact, the passenger could be All you. Right, you sound terrible. Or you. Well, tough shit. We just had a fire. Hey, you're, hey, you're seems a little to leave town. fishy to me. Seems a little to fishy to me, fish. eh, there, Cusco? Yeah, hey, that crook. <laughs> seems a little fishy to me, leaving the fish town. Huh, huh, huh. Hey, there, Cusco. What did you say? Why don't you try saying that to my face, smart guy? Ooh. Now, it there was did. a quote that's probably going to get stolen by Shadow the Hedgehog two years in the past. Okay, well, your monotone is about as intense as mine. Then what? Then what? Oh, damn. My intense monotone is not giving me super strength. Don't stop it. Don't stop me now. Get motherfucking fucked. Rick. Don't stop me now. It sounds like he's transforming into like Megas XLR shit, except not at all, because the robot doesn't have a personality. I'm That's the first time else. he actually had to apologize. Of going into Ratos mode. Well, for anything. Who Emil? Yeah. Emil apologizes all the damn. Oh, yeah. you mean the this first time? This is the he... first time he was actually required to apologize. Like he should actually apologize, and you know what? It's not even a regular apology at this point. It's a very, he's very sorry. Sorry. It's a. Very sorry. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm not gonna question why you were able to lift me with just your bare hand. That kind of something like that, some deadly arsonist. That shit happens in anime all the time. So back to the topic at hand, which is even more depressing than this topic. Arsony. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. You know, I think the only person in this entire game that Emil doesn't apologize to is himself. Yeah, pretty much. Now, I sort of like the Hulk. It's getting more and more abrasive. Oh, shit. Yay! Damn it, I accidentally He hit finally one. skipped one! Fuck! Damn it! Alright, Zooper, I know I usually don't ask you to do many of these counters, but now you need to go back and count how many skits I haven't skipped. Just kidding, don't do that. Please don't do that. This guy's counting. He oh wait, maybe he counted for me. He said about 90, so 90 skits. Ooh, hey. He's playing hide and seek with his dad. Or she's playing hide. You never saw me, okay? Yeah, I found her. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But yeah, seriously, don't go count that too. But please don't. Never do that ever. Do you know how many skits? Can we we've please go to the jail now? Is that where we have to go? Yeah. Oh. Well, that was the point of going to the boat. Talk to this dude. Okay, yo man. Yo man. Yo, yo boy. Man, man. Uh, do you have a Do you have a masculine voice too? Excuse me. He has a pretty cool looking beard or mustache. Oh. That's a beard. That's a beard. I have a grumpy sort of uh, monotone, but I uh, suppose my monotone could be pretty good too. Hey, don't be ridiculous. He's still in there. See for yourself. Numb nuts. I'm Patrick Warburton. Uh, he is. Huh. What's going on here? He is. Interesting. Yes. Sure, but be careful. I want to have a war with this criminal. 
And you know what I want to tell him? I know what you want to do. Rip his still beating heart out of his chest so you can show it to him how cold and black it is before he dies. Um, no. Fancy clothes and nice manners, but the fellow's dangerous. Ooh. All right, and we're about to meet someone fancy. We're going to meet one of those fancy criminals. They also said he was a big guy. So obviously we might be meeting them. Well, yeah, he's a pretty big guy. Let's find out. So who is this dirtbag? Oh, hey, Regal. Fancy meeting you here. Like, seriously, it's it's not this even a question. This guy really should have been voiced by Patrick Warburton. But it's real. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> and you can can't I, make fun of can this Can I please? Part. Please. You can't make fun of this part because it's Regal's voice acting. Just just listen to it, man. What happened to that sweet, smexy voice you had in the first game? What is this ominous light that threatens to engulf us? What is this us? ominous light that threatens to engulf us? Uh. Now it's probably more like, what is this ominous light that threatens to engulf us? Poor Regal. I mean, I know it's Presidente. El Presidente. El Presidente. Dente. 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 You gotta do something in your spare time. <laughs> As if Regal doesn't have enough spare time. Or something to do. Yeah, I sort of just walked in and they all called at me for starting fires. Apparently they think my hair just looks like a fire. They're kind of stupid. I can see it Regal is a town. going into like Super Saiyan mode and then he grows more hair and it looks more and more like fire. Like it goes from... Like it's blue, then red, then yellow. They goes like Super Saiyan level 13. Just fucks everyone. Like he just bends them over and uses his sword. He doesn't have a sword. Neil? Oh, I thought you were talking about... No, I was talking about Regal. Oh, uh, Regal could probably also go Super Saiyan. He'd probably just shove his boots so far up their ass their head explodes. That's sort of like what happened in Fallout <laughs> like 3. Like in Fallout 3. <laughs> kick, their, kick them in the ass and their head rams into the truck. I tried to replicate that. I tried to so hard in my Let's Play. It didn't I work. Could almost. I think I got it sort of for one try. It wasn't as good though. No, it was, the, it was when I was... Um, in Operation Anchorage. Operation Anchorage. It was yeah. the guy at the computer though. Yeah. It was, no, it wasn't the it guy. Was the, the, right, it was, was the, the grease monkey in front of the... In front of the truck. Oh yeah, that's it. He kicks it. him so hard into the truck, his face exploded. No, I will punch him in the back of the head and it knocks him out. Then you kick him in the butthole and his head explodes. No, you don't even have to knock him out because he's already on the ground looking at the tire. So you oh, just yeah. kick him so hard, he <laughs> rams into the truck and head explodes. First time we saw that, we were literally crying laughing. Oh my god, it was so funny. That's why I love playing an arm in that game. You don't do it though. You use like melee weapons. Uh, I do use melee weapons. I almost never use guns. Oh, by the oh wait, no, I can't say that. I was just about to say eh, Sam can borrow Fallout 3 because I finished it, but no, I haven't finished it. I have no idea why I almost said that. Yeah. Why couldn't Marty do that? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it's worth the so who's this Berg fellow that we completely skipped over? Because the guy that think. sells uh, seafood gels. Oh. Huh. I want to try one of those seafood gels. It probably tastes like absolute shit, but I'm game. They probably taste awesome. Let's find out. Oh, by the way, there's a love interest between Rain and Regal for some reason. It just sort of exists. I don't know. Go it's just it. there. All the characters hook up with someone. And you want to know something very interesting? What? <laughs> now Regal's There lit up. is one couple. Actually, yeah, it's like out of the eight main characters, one couple hooks racially and one couple hooks interracially. Well, From both sides. Like, what I mean by that is, there's one Silveron only, and one Silveron Tethiala, and one Tethialan. Actually, no, there's two Silveron Tethiala. Alright, so there's one of each, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Get the idea. Alright, so Genus and Perseo would be one. Lloyd and Colette would be another. Uh, technically, Sheena and Zealous are one. I'm not sure if that's actually canon, but that's just what I've so. noticed. Actually, I, I thought, I, I thought I Sheena liked Lloyd. She does. That is actually a canon possibility. 
It all was right. also him and Rain, and okay. it was also him and Persea. Remember that all right. Remember that house where you thought there was a door but it was actually a window? Uh yeah. Go there. Is it actually a door? No. Oh. I'm just saying go to that house. That's lame. But yeah, like I said, uh, the possibilities in this game. Uh, you can get with pretty much every single girl. Alright, awesome. I like how you just blew over what that sort of means. That also means Persea. Banging a 14-year-old. Got it. Yeah. Ryan, what do you think? I'm not joking. That's actually something you can do. I know. It's fucked up. A dart frog? Light frog. Well, ain't you high and mighty, Mr. Dog Fishing Pole thing? What's the actual name? Oh, I remember that name. That's a name that sticks with me. Nasdrovia. Nasdrovia! Yeah. Okay, well, guess what, dipshit? I'm still gonna call it a spider. I'm not gonna call it a tentaclist fuck, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Tech tight. Or a tech tightyless tech fuck you. <laughs> or a spider. <laughs> oh, look, it's a mummy. Or Gibdo. Gibdo. Oh, look, a what, zombie. Is this a guide or councilman? Oh, it's just a rock. <laughs> oh, look, it's a zombie. Or a re dead. What's this? Zombie? Re dead. What's this? A rabbit? Pulls voice. What do they call the bats then? Keys? Oh. Well, they call the keys then? Bats? <laughs> Did I just say we have to go to Flanor? Oh, uh, we gotta go to fucking Flanor. I hate that place. Actually, just kidding. I'll... It's actually one of my favorite places in the whole game. Shut the fuck up. We don't care. Why is he so high and mighty about how he pronounced the damn thing? <laughs> I love how we just keep ignoring him. Yeah, fuck Tenebrae. Right? Nasdrovie! Ah. I care as a collar. There really was no reason for that whole joke of them not being able to call it Nasdrovier. It's pretty much as easy as calling it a light frog. Who cares? Nasdrovier kind of rolls off your tongue. Nasdrovier. Nasdrovier. But light frog is just like, ugh, light frog. Light frog. It's like the light bright. <laughs> light bright. We just made a second light bright reference in oh two my sessions. God. Yeah, seriously. 9-11. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a joke anymore. <laughs> You're just a prick. I am a prick. <laughs> if we do a session on 9-11, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, the whole time, I'm just going to, like, tape your mouth shut. And I'm also going to, like, tape your asshole, too. So you can't, like, fart out 9-11. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I like how Marta's getting so high and mighty about it. Well, actually, she already explained why she'd be this. Be a man. Please have another flashback. Oh, God, no. We need to give Zuber something to do with these episodes. I feel kind of bad because he hasn't counted too many sorries and flashbacks. Oh, wait, we're counting the flashbacks. Never mind. I'm an asshole. Sorry, I'm trying to get you to count something you don't have to count. That's my, that's my bad. That's my deal. Right, there really then. was no reason for this, but I'm angry. How can you be so sure that they're all gone? Yeah, seriously. And what about the centurion's coins? We'll eat them like eggs for breakfast. Okay. Can you like they're eggs, aren't they? Their cores are basically eggs. I bet those would be the most fantastic fucking eggs you ever had. They look like rocks. But you probably crack them open because they're eggs and they hold the centurion. So no. you probably get like a little black shit from like Tenebrae's one. So it'd probably be gross. But you just slap that You're, on an egg salad. You basically sandwich. want to eat centurion balut. Dude, slap that on a bacon, egg, and cheese. It's balut. Do you know what balut is? It is fertilized, unborn chicken or duck egg. 
Yeah, but you could probably like. You... All right, so you crack open a blue egg, and you actually find the unborn chicken or duck inside. Yeah, so then you throw right. that shit out, and then you take the fetus. There's nothing there. Well, there's no, there's nothing left. You know, it, it's basically the same thing as an egg. You just eat it and be like, I'm good. But there's still like meat and bones inside. Maybe if you crack one of them open, you just get aqua. And aqua's kind of hot, so maybe you can just get her to make you an egg It's probably just sandwich. water. So, if you crack open aqua, you could probably just get her to make you the sandwich. I hate you. I don't know, maybe Tenderbrae can turn into a sandwich if we need him. I mean, he can turn into a fishing pole, can he? Can you turn me into a jar of mayonnaise so I can eat myself? Indeed. Because she's sadistic. And a bitch! Pretty much. I think this is part of the reason why we don't like Rain. She kind of became a bitch in this second game. I know. We didn't used to hate Rain in the first right. game. Well, now we have to leave town. Definitely weird. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to tell you, man. I would love to meet any of these characters, but Rain, I'd be all like... Get out of here with your stank booty. Your hair is ugly. And for some reason, you have a fascination with rocks. Ah, uh, god damn it! Yeah! I gotta stop doing that! I'm on a roll! Fuck! Wait. Now here's a question. Can you skip them? No. You can't skip them at I all. cannot. At all. The B at button? All. Nope. Nothing you literally works. can't skip them. Huh? I have zero control. The only time I have even the slightest bit of control is when I'm in battle. Can you even open up the menu? I thought you could do that in this game. I don't. Yeah, at least a little bit of control. Oh wait, no, you don't because no, only your in player battle. characters couldn't open any inventory in like the map, but in the overworld you could. But because there is no overworld, you can't do shit in this game. Yep. Second player is a poor bastard. He's basically the Luma without the ability to annoy the first player. Like, he helps a little bit against the monsters, but that's about it. Yep. By the way, are you ever going to demonstrate any of the other characters and what they do? No. You want to, like, just give them a little time? Just be like, oh yeah, this is how Lloyd plays, this is how Regal plays, none of that. Just be like, no, fuck him. I'm playing as a meal the whole time. Whatever. Yep. You sort of have to when we do the special moves, though. We told them about it in the first game. Yeah, but what about the special moves? Remember, we have to show all those off, because they're fucking awesome. Oh, we will. Don't worry. Because they're fucking amazing. I forget who has the strongest one. I remember Marta has the weakest one. But it's utility, so it doesn't matter too much. No, Marta's is actually one of the best, because it attacks and heals. That's what I'm saying. It's utility, but its damage output is actually rather shit. It is. Regal's is also rather Emil's shit. Emil's is not that great, actually. No, his is Lloyd's is probably the best. I think Lloyd's actually is the best. Other than that, for damage, I think Colette actually has a really fucking strong one. Perseus is unbelievable powerful. But it only hits, like, one monster, and it completely fucks the shit out of it. Regal's is basically the same thing. He's just, like, triple kick. But it's a dragon! That's basically his, if I remember correctly. Jesus is just like, I get cool cutscenes. Now let me cast a spell I've already cast about 70 times. Indignation! Remember how we completely found it by bullshit luck when I was playing as Genus? I'm just like, yo, indignation, bitch. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden we get this awesome cutscene, the guy gets fucking destroyed, and we're like, what the hell just happened there? Oh, hey, so that's what you do. Cool. Then we basically spent the rest of the episodes having, like, rest of the fights, we fought over who could use the spell. Oh, it's yeah. Like, like, who could cast faster? I was always better at that. Because you've completely forgotten, didn't ever pay attention. I'm like, yo, I win. And it was Radiant Roar literally every single battle. Because it's, it's sort of cheap. Once you get the special moves, you can cast them in, like, every single battle. I know, really, because the, the unison attack bar fills up so fast. Because it's a lot less powerful than in the first game. But then the special moves completely blow it out of the water. I don't really get that correlation, but okay. I, yeah, I missed it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This what? is the Yzmir Forest, isn't it? We're not in the, in the Ymir Forest. What is this shit? 
Camberto Caves. Oh, this looks like the Ymir Forest. Ymir. It not... looks like the fucking Ymir Forest. They're lying to you, man. I'm getting wrecked by mushrooms. I never the... thought that happened. Psychedelics. Yeah, but I'm not even trying to eat them. They're like trying to force themselves upon me. Wachacha cha! Wachacha! That's a combo right there. It's sort of like you have to merge the combos and know what to do. It's a lot easier in Abyss, like I said, because the guy I use his moves are very easy to combo and have fun with. Like you can get like 13 hit strikes very consecutively, and it's very fun to do. Yeah. All right. Just so you know, this is a pain in the ass cave. So please, let's make it a move on very quickly. Okay. I actually don't remember this place at all. So yeah. I don't remember much. Why did you attack him? Because I wanted to back attack him. I wanted to get the chest. Step, step. Wah, 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 wah. All right, that is the combo right there. See, look, watch this. Yeah, it's oh. a double combo. It's. Oh, like, I thought you meant mixing mine and yours, mine and your move. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's also a pretty good combo. So basically, if I link my side B. I rock shit. Yeah. Bazu yeah. Like breath of fire. Sweet. So finally our dragon's able to actually cast fire. Cool. It took him a long time. He's like Saphira from Aragon. Pretty much. Do we have any like of those books? Oh, we have mage mittens. Oh. Did I just forget to equip that shit? Mage cloak. I guess so. How much shit did I forget to equip on myself? Like everything? No, you're pretty much good. Okay, what about you? You still have your long sword. <laughs> no, you you remembered me. Oh wait, here. Oh wait, but that's it. Okay. Yep. A hunting sword. Well, there Hell you go. Hell yeah! I remember this item looking really cool. Whoa. That is very over the top. I'll. I'll that's a little that. silly. It's not gunblade level, but it's still silly. Gunblade was seriously one of the dumbest things I've right. ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was it was so dumb. Final Fantasy has made some really silly decisions. That was one of the more silly ones. And what the fuck, where are I'm we? not kidding, this looks way too much like the Ymir Forest. It's not the Ymir Forest. It looks way too much like it, man. I'm getting the feels. I'm getting the Ymir. And that's not a place I ever want to go back. I don't think we're going there again. You say that, but can you really be certain that we're never going back there? I'm certain. Dude, you get dizzy so much in this game. Enemies just bang you over and fuck you. Maybe it's because I was always Colette and I could attack from a distance, so I well, didn't know. Now you're playing as Marta, whose hair are basically just two giant <clears throat> handles for her to be butt fucked. Pretty much. I just imagined that. <sighs> Thank you, man. I had to imagine it to say it. That's true. But you sort of do that stream of consciousness thing when you're making jokes, you know? I do. Chozo Ghost, you know? Chozo ghosts? Chozo ghosts, you know. Wrong way, I'm just telling you right now. Wait, wait, wait. What can we do with this? Can we burn the bridge? No. That's on our, That's how we get back quickly. Uh, so we don't have to go through this maze <coughs> on the way back. What a pain in the ass. Okay, fair enough. So why is this area a pain in the ass? It's a maze. Burn that. That's it? Seriously, come on. Come on. Point out the mic was in the way. The fuck? Okay. I don't remember that. It's Gamlion. It's Gimli. So good. That was the move name. So good. We annihilated him. <laughs> One experience point. All talk, no action. Well, he said that in the last game. Yep. He just said, yeah, but wait, wait, wait. He used a move called So Good. What was the point I don't of that? Know. Okay. I wonder what that <clears throat> is. It is now water. water. We have a squirt gun. Cool. Isn't this the second time we got water? Yeah. <clears throat> Why do we keep getting the same shit over and over and over again? I don't know. Whatever. Like, I think it would have been cool if you got the ice elemental ring in, like, the fire temple because it was all frozen over. That would have been a cool mechanic. But nope, it was basically the same area. Just let shit on fire and have fun. Doing the exact same thing. Jeez, you have to pee. Maybe it's because of the water running through here. It's really chilly. But it's not frozen. The water must not be that cold. 
Didn't we Prince always have like a gold. joke about? Oh yeah, that's what it was. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. What? Actually, wasn't that funny? What joke? I was gonna say that the, we used to have a joke about genus like having to pee a lot, but actually I was thinking of genus. We called him penis because it rhymed. Ah. Which sort of has to do with peeing, but not really. Yeah. I love how like haughty Marta gets sometimes for no reason. How rude! How rude! All right, we need a how rude counter. Sorry, Zuper. We're just gonna like at the by the end of this game, he's we're pretty giving, much gonna have to like count everything. I know, we're giving Zuper so much homework. He's like, yeah, count everything. Every time they say the word the. Every time we say the word the, it, it's probably in like the three hundredth by this point. Because I just said it about thirty times there. The word the. Okay. I don't know. Sensitive. She seriously is sensitive, but I don't want to equip that because it's funny. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> My ex girlfriend was very sensitive. Like, oversensitive. Wait, what? Kalina. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. So, I lose my attack up, but my defense goes up. Just take it. Actually, you're do I flimsy. Want that? You need defense. I actually like attack more. I'm too much. I'm gonna wreck your shit. I'm gonna become a powerhouse. How's that? I slam your shit. What is our attack dip? No. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 that's my... Uh, I don't give a shit about it. Actually... Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Wait, whoa, what the fuck? That's my phonic... Look at Janus's. I wreck his shit. Why did I do so much damage? Passable chef. That's just your title. That's funny. Oi, can we continue somehow? Oh, we just go through here. So what's the point of that whole cutscene? Oh no. That's what the world Suddenly is. everything came flooding back to me and I realized how fucked this place is. Oh no. This area is a piece of shit. Great. Oh. Why'd they have to add this whole shit? Why is it so damn screen? slow? Do we jump on? It'll just get stuck. It's like a log flume ride. We're sorry, but the log foam is currently stuck. Please wait five minutes while we fix the problem. If you end up waiting here for 15 minutes, we are very sorry. And please file all your complaints outside of the park. <laughs> and in the drop box, we answer very In the suggestion regularly. box. We answer it. Dude, you got your very, shit wrecked. What do you expect? There's like 30 of them, and I'm Marta. I told you to get defense. But then again, that's what this move is for. It's to get out of that shit. Marta has moves to get out of that stuff. Yo, Rain, can you heal me? Oh, never mind. Oh, she did heal me. <laughs> what the hell? Who called him in... Oh, that was probably Genius calling him in the end before. Yeah. So wait, they know in the end, well, I guess this is, once again, the same world as the Earth. It's just different. Ooh, more flowers. So the whole point of the flowers <clears throat> is to turn the flow of water so that when you push the bud, they run into the flower. Oh, we have to do it again. Oh! How's about I slam your shit? Actually, this area isn't as bad as I was just complaining it was. But we do have to wait a lot. Oh, what the fuck? Respawning bullshit. At least it's only three this time. You. That was easy. That was easy. I really wish we could just cook at the end of these battles, but they don't let us. Nope. It's just like... Because cooking doesn't help us anymore. Nope. It helps the fat-ass monsters we're traveling with. Speaking of which, can any of them evolve? Nope. Of course not. It's all in vain. <laughs> all in vain. I'm surprised you're not angry at that pun. No. Okay. Oh, what the? It's the grasshopper from the first game. Fuck you. Alright, what do we gotta do now? Ooh, can we whistle for the bird to come and pick us up? The owl? That was a hawk, by the way. Oh, yeah, it was a hawk, wasn't it? All you have to do is the spiders are in 
some shit like that. I don't know. I'm pretty drunk right now. Bro. If anyone was looking for some stuff, all they would have to do is follow the spiders. Oh, I'm not yep. sure why, but that's sort of what that I was... just about do it. Uh, I'm oh, sure give maybe. it water. Oh, yeah. See, this is what I have you here for. And I think there was another bud that you missed that you uh, need to give water to. Platform and puzzles at their greatest. Do I have to hit it again? <laughs> oh, hit the other one again. No, wait, uh, yeah, that one right there. What? Sorcerer drink cannot be used on the float. Why? It doesn't matter. Oh, it can't. Why? Why can't it be? Oh, I so get you it. Don't because... get, so you don't get to travel with it. Okay, that makes sense. That would make the puzzle too easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what can I do with... Alright, what do I gotta do now? Uh, no, I'm just gonna fight this guy so we can, like, think about what we're doing here. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that a shroom puff? A shoe puff? Whatever the hell that thing's called. You're a shoe puff. Roaring Phoenix Attorney. Ace right. Ah, oh, heal us all, please, Ryan. By the way, I got Ace Attorney for the iPhone. Objection! I'm probably gonna record that shit off of my iPhone. That's gonna be fun. Or my iPod, whatever. There's Slag, my pancake time. How come we don't even pay attention to what those two idiots in the background are casting? Spells got a lot less intrusive than they used to be. Oh, and that's actually kind of a downfall for this game. Yeah, I liked it when they were intrusive. I love it. It's just like, still lag, and there's like the whole screen were... blackens, and there's like balls spinning around all over the damn place. They were huge, too. Yeah. Like, they they just seemed bigger. There was more to them. In this game, it's just like, oh, by the way, I'm uh, going to cast slag my... Can you guys pay attention to me? So what? You better be to pay attention to me. Genius is sort of like the drummist in a band now. The drummer. Actually, no, not even. Like, Did the you really drummer. Did you say drummist? The dr Whatever, I don't fucking care. It's light. He's like the drummer. He used to be the drummer in the band. Always making the loud noise and always taking everyone's attention. But then he sort of became the, the bass bassist. He's the bass yeah, player. He's, he's now the bassist. He, he keeps everything together, but he's just like. He's the, <laughs> the racist bassist. The racist bassist. That should be a show or a movie. The Races Bases. Dude, I would watch that movie. And I would probably give it five of the Goldbergs at 10. Ooh. The hell was that she just did? Uh, Don't give up! That was obviously her cheerleading impersonation. She's going out for the, uh, the Lewin Packers. Well, at least she's not sticking her ass out like she usually does. It's the Lewin Ass Packers, because every single person in Lewin's an ass, so they decide that they'd all be Packers. So, the Lewin Ass Packers. Last place team. Ah, oh, shit. I spoke too soon. Sexy ass waving. Ah, oh, damn it, I skipped again. Sorry for the text skips. I'm trying not to, but I just keep accidentally hitting the B button. Yep. Oh, by the way, it's not just the two of them now, so guess who's going to interject? Aww, that's so sweet. Where'd that come from? Wait, why did she all of a sudden care? How? Okay. Yeah, seriously, you should have been all like, yo, woman. Be my woman. <laughs> Mystic. I'm trying to think of what, like, I'm trying to think of, like, the funniest way that was used in the past. Like, just the be my woman. It uh, probably was used actually, in Actually, I'm not a man. I'm a woman. Now, actually, be my woman. Actually, I'm not a woman. I'm a horse. Actually, <laughs> I'm not a horse. I'm a broom. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? Family guy. Family Guy used to be good. I'm a bro. <laughs> Family Guy used to be good. Then it got shit. All right. What next? Is that a rat? That's a slug. Hereditary crazy. Yeah. It's because he actually experiments well. He knows what to do. He knows how to make spicy cocoa. 
Ah. <laughs> That's not a fight you want to. Even Tenebrae shine away. He's like, I, know. Yo, I can't be hurt, but you could probably do something to me. Something that is irreversible. Like, use me for a fishing pole again. That, that was probably the most great thing I've ever done in my I, life. I, Tenebrae is oh, like. Ruth. He's Momon from uh, Gash Bell. But not at all, because Momon, like, hardly ever speaks. True. Ever. I would say he's more like. If I had to, like, give him an anime character. He is an anime character. Like, what kind of anime character would I give his personality? What, to Tenebrae? Yeah. I don't know, Tenebrae is kind of unique. He's like a suave asshole. Like, what kind of. I actually don't know a whole lot of anime characters who are suave assholes, to be perfect. Actually, you know, there's probably a ton that I'm just not thinking of. Um, suave assholes. Suave asshole. He's sort of like... Oh, no, not really, because he's a cool suave asshole. He's a, he's a cool suave man. A suave asshole. Who's a suave asshole? I can't think of anybody. Black Butler. Well, okay, I get... Actually, you know what? That's probably the best we're going to get. Like, what's his name? Like, I, um, all butlers should be named Sebastian. Oh, well, mine's not Sebastian. I'm one hell of a butler. I'm one hell of a butler. I had a couple Black Butler scenes in the anime talk show intro. I'll review that show someday. Doesn't look too bad. Do you know how long the show is, or do you not know at all? What, Black Butler? No, yeah. I literally saw the first episode, and that's it. Okay. And you saw the English dub? Yes. Was it a good English dub? It kind of was, yeah. Okay. Although one of the characters was voiced by an Australian guy, and that annoyed the hell out of me. You always get those funny characters. I know. Dubs. It's hilarious. Lucky Star has one of the most obnoxious characters with her dub. And guess what? What? She's the American. Uh, uh. Her voice sounds like this. Oh, hi. I'm the American. Except it's really She sounds low, like Mickey Mouse. But it isn't. It's really low pitched. Like everyone else has like oh, a very loud and soft voice. Oh, Hers hi. is just like... It's really quiet. It's annoying to understand, and she's just obnoxious. She's really obnoxious. She's the only character that I'm literally like, okay, you can get her off the screen now. It's actually kind of funny because I find myself laughing at obnoxious characters. Like if a character annoys me, I can find something funny out of him, for the most part. Like she's a funny annoying character because it's just funny how she annoys me. <laughs> Someone like Belle. Is an annoying enough. All right, I'm just gonna stop your your conversation right now because uh, this I just know how long that's gonna go on for. Oh my god, Bell's the most fucking obnoxious thing I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, I'm not gonna. What? What? Dragon tails, dragon tails. I was tails. literally just about to start doing that. <laughs> Where did the dragon come from? Just spawned right at Genus's ass. Why Genus? Because he's probably the one with the dirtiest asshole. Also, remember when the dragon used to be huge and take up the whole battlefield? Yeah. Well, now they're sort of just... Yeah, this is what we have now. Man, how those days have fallen. Now we just get tentacle monsters coming out of, like, half the map, even though it's not water. Awesome. I, I like where this is going. <laughs> what? He was on the ground, I was like... Ugh. Thank you for healing us, by the way, Rain. Even though that wasn't really you doing it. It was mostly my fault. These, these dragons also kind of suck. Not even hard. And once again, we get gold. Maybe you only get gold from the dragons. I don't know. We get gold from some of the monsters. Also, that was a lot of experience, too. You get a lot of experience in this game. Also, what the hell are we doing? Wait, go is that to it? that. Yeah, that was it right there. Wait, this place is already done? No way. You're shitting me. We already went through this area? Wow. They dumbed down some of these puzzles. While others are completely fucking obnoxious. Well, like we said before, it's more of a video. I mean, it's more of a story rather than a video game. <laughs> it's glowing, but it's withered. That is very strange. You know, we've used a lot of rosemary in this game, just like raise our attack. I think it raises. or accuracy. Something I don't remember. So why is all of a sudden rosemary that important? I don't think we've even used it. 
Actually, we have used them all because I don't think there are any room bottles in this game. Also, really funny, we didn't find, I'm not kidding here, a single rune bottle in the entire first Tales game. We didn't find a single one. We need to find sunlight. How the fuck do we get... Ah, oh, shit. There's another sorcerer's ring thing we need to get. Blow my ass. All right, let's go find it. Well, blow me down. You know what? I believe I remember seeing a sorcerer's ring near where that bridge was, remember? Oh, yeah. So let's go to where that bridge was. Ooh, I tried. <clears throat> but in all seriousness, we didn't find a single room bottle. I mean, I know they're rare, but... Like, not even one? I don't even think we used, like, those items to raise our HP because we were waiting, holding out for the rune bottle to finally appear. I think at one point we finally just said fuck it and used it, but... <laughs> poke, 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 poke. What the hell are you doing? She's just, like, going straight through the monster and giving him nothing. Damn. You, like, spiked it into the ground like a football. That's why I like Marta. She's fun to play as because she has, like, a lot of cool moves. Ooh. She just does a lot of flip tricks. Uh, Why are they so uh, uh, mean-spirited uh, to each other? They're just such assholes. Someone just learned an art called Predator Claw. Uh, okay, that wasn't me, though. That's gotta be... That would be cool if I learned it. Uh, hair? Ooh. Kick, Kick the, enemy. the enemy. What the fuck? Come <laughs> on! The worst. Oh, my God. Breathe fire. Kick the baby. Kick. Don't kick the baby. Kick Don't the baby. Don't kick the damn baby. I want to kick Wee. a baby. Don't kick the goddamn baby. Kick the baby. Yay! Did you play Stick of Truth yet? I have not. Very funny game. I'm already saved here. I'm sure it is. It's a very funny game. It's a little short, but it's awesome. Oh. Wait, go in the second cave. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Maybe this cave yeah. will be over to where we need to get. Well, that just perms my hair. What the hell? Grasshopper. Don't go that way. Don't give him the stick. Oh my god. Keep going. To the right. Hmm. Come on. No battles. Okay, fair enough. You know, I will give him this. Some of the monsters in this game ah. are rather attractive. I mean, there's some ugly ones, certainly. Like, what, what the fuck is that? The, the, whatever that is. But there are some attractive monsters in this game. I mean, take one look at Vane. You can tell she's got something going on. You know? I hate you. I was, I was a harpy, you know. But without a doubt. Are you one of those people that would fuck Gardevoir? Uh, no, not really. No. It's. I'd go for Sligu, though. Who? Sligu. Who's that? Huh? Who's Sligu? Do you know who Sligu is? No. Come on, there's like a million Sligus you fought by now if you've done 6th gen. If you don't get the joke, then you don't get the joke. I don't know Sligu. Okay, then. you have to look up Sligu later, then. What about Jinx? Yeah. Nah, no, no. Nah. Battle Gauntlets, give me those. Okay. Die, scum! I think, though, the characters that you probably best go for if you were into Pokemon would probably be, if you're a girl, one of the Machoke family line, like Machoke, <laughs> one of those. Uh, Macho. If you're a guy, you'd probably go for Gardevoir, of course, or you'd go for Lopunny. I don't know who Lopunny is. Uh, it's the evolved form of Baneary. Baneary? Yeah. Oh, getting up in that furry shit, huh? Well, if you're gonna go for a Pokemon, no matter who you go for, it's bestiality, so... I, yeah, you're right. If you're gonna go for bestiality, at least go for the hot-looking bunny. Which has, like, some bunny! sweet leg action. So if you're into foot jobs, the lopunny's got it covered. I think we just caught a turtle. I think we've just gone to a territory of talk on this channel that we shouldn't have gone into. Probably. Whatever. Uh, no, we've talked about worse. We probably have talked about Furries. worse. Furries. 9-11. Bestiality, yeah. No. What I think 9-11 was the worst. Oh, we caught another turtle. Get the fuck Tortle. out of here. A war turtle. War turtle, war turtle, war turtle. War turtle, war turtle. 
いや覚えた覚えろ覚えた覚えろ覚えた覚えろ覚えた覚えた覚えた覚えた覚えた覚えた覚えた A commentary is about as interesting as Pokemon dialogue. <laughs> as. Oi, t o r o oi, t o r o oi, t o r o It's about as.、Uh, what do we do? How do we go load around? The、uh, uh, uh, well, I tried. Crawlers. That's what. Oh, wait, these are the caterpillar things. I remember these things. These things were cool. I always liked these guys. Yo, get me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, like, Marta only likes to use her side B if she does that at the end of a combo. Unless I do that, she's just sort of like, eh, I don't feel like it. By the way, we're getting way too many Roper feelers. Ah. I bet Marta's like, we don't need them for that、herself. many. We've got four people in our party. We don't need that many Roper feelers to have a good time. Oh, wait, so did we get that Sorcerer's Ring? Yep. Did it say light? Yep. Alright, l let's go back. Let's just make sure so we don't have to go all the way back here. Alright, so now it's water, fire, what we. Fire? Okay, whatever. Apparently, you'd have to go all the way back to get the water, too. We don't need water anymore. No, we don't. Now we got light. Flash! Dun, 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 dun.、Ah! This was seriously just elongating the path. There was really no point to doing this. That bitch cut off my tech. Oh, by the way, Sagu is the evolved form of、uh, Gudra. Or the goo looking thing. Gumi. Who? Gumi. I'm sorry, I don't know most of the six gen Pokemon. It's the little. It's the goo ball that you find in the swamp. The dragon thing. You seriously don't know at this point? No. Because I've seriously only caught, like, 20 Pokemon.、Mm, fair enough. I'm surprised you haven't run into one, though. Like, you, you probably would have seen it. It's that little pink blob looking thing. Ditto? No. Would you have sex with a Ditto, though? No. Hell no. I mean, it can transform into anything you want. Oh,、uh, yeah. 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 Get, like, something out of it. I don't know. Transform it into a low bunny. There you go. <laughs> How about another person? All、okay. right, because there was the episode、okay. where it transformed into a cannon. That's true. Also, I forgot to equip speed cast. Completely forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, well, I have need of three more. What can I de equip? Stealth. I kind of like stealth. I, I run at him anyway. Doesn't even help stealth. They go for me anyway when I start healing, because they're assholes. No, stealth just、uh, makes enemies not go towards you during battle. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But they still go towards me anyway when I'm trying to heal. Alright, well, that was a little bit faster, I guess. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Honestly, Speed Cast is not that important on Marta. Until she starts learning some of those attacking spells. I'm gonna need Speed Cast, though, so I can beat you out. And I can use my specials before you can. Also, we're not running from any of these battles. We're sort of just blocking through them. Yeah, just. Done. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. No! Wrong way! Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, this has been a fun session, and we've accomplished a lot. We've learned a lot about ourselves. I hear you. And about what Pokemon we'd like to get with, apparently. Because、oh、that's my, about all、yeah. I took from this. That's、yeah. all I took from this, like, how long session? I don't even know. What about that, like, two minutes of just. Rambling. Like trying to get on the boat? <laughs> good old times. Let's look back on the good old times we had Let's Play like 30 minutes ago. Remember when we were talking about possibly eating those seafood gels and what they would taste like? I thought it would be, taste like crab dip, which and, tastes、uh, amazing. I thought it was just a fish inside of gelatin. Good old days. Gelatin brand gelatin. Man, how you've grown in that time. Wait, wasn't there like an episode of Fairly Odd Parents where it was just a piece of broccoli inside of gelatin? Yeah, I was. It was like the gelatin Crocker brought over, I think. No, it was a.、Uh, no, oh, Timmy, it was her, Timmy's mom made Timmy's it. Timmy's mom. Her mom. His mom's a horrible cook. Poison leech. Uh, let's Why、see. not? Why? Good.、Around. I don't want a fucking leech. Yeah, he'd probably just leech off the rest of our good members. I hate you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
monster humor. Aww. She still has the spell. I, every time we look at that, it's just gonna annoy us. Predator, <laughs> kick the enemy. Kick the enemy. Just kick them. It, it right. would be, the only thing that would make it funnier if it just says kick them. Kick them. Just kick them. <laughs> just kick them. Not even kick them, kick them. Don't kick even em. use proper English. What are you just doing? Trying to get around the dragon. You could have just, oh my god. It's faster than fighting him. Here we go. No, I mean, you didn't even have to fight him, just... Well, I couldn't have squeezed past that fat ass. He's smaller than in the first game, I don't, but he's you know still what? quite a fat ass. I don't ass. care. Just, God damn it. Indeed. And now the plant is healed. Emil's dick. Uh-oh. I don't think he can get any worse than this. Nonsense! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> And how big is it? <laughs> it's not stopping. <laughs> I think it just stopped. Oh, did it stop? Yeah. It seriously got that big and stopped. Oh, keep going. It would have been hilarious if it kept going. What should we do? I don't know. That's an Amanita, a monster. I'm no shit. About the fact that it's a monster. Oh, that thing is huge. <laughs> it just became a lot smaller. Actually, it's about the same size as it was outside. Just perspective and shit. Yo, spin kick out of that, Marta. Always getting into those scenes. All right, yeah, time to fuck him. Up, 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 up. Pow! Ha -ha! I'd just take care of him. Or not. These things are pretty resilient, apparently. Oh, actually, we're fully healed. That's what I love about Rain helping out. Great, I'm cursed. You live with it until Rain heals it, I think. Yo, use it. What? Oh. On him? Just use the, uh, yeah. Yeah! Ba -ba 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 he seriously just wanted to do that so he could get it. Yeah. Honestly, Rain jumps in the most because she has to heal all the time. That's why she usually gets it. Because all her spells are like water element or light. I think her type is light, isn't it? She's water type. Is she? Yeah. That's weird. Genus is ice type. That is very weird. I thought she was light. Oh, wait. No, I'm light. No. Yeah, I'm light type, aren't I? You're dark type. And Regal is also water type. Why is everyone fucking water type? I know. Regal... It's just like actual Pokemon where everyone's water type. I know. There Regal's so water type. Water Rain's water type. Well, I mean, her name is Rain. I mean, Rain's water type. Uh, Richter's water type. Wait, Regal, Rain, and Richter. Or... And Aqua, of all people, is water type. <laughs> No, nah, it's anyone Jeez. whose name starts with an R. Oh, really? Rain, Maybe Regal, that's and Rain. Maybe that's what it is. Wait, Rain, Regal, and Richter. Does that mean I'm water type? Maybe you are. I'd rather be Earth type. Earth's my favorite. Really? Yeah, I like Earth. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of grass, but specifically what I like about grass is just the power of the Earth. Like, moves like Earthquake and Earthquake, because that's pretty much all you fucking need if you're ground type. There's some other good dirt moves. And we get the Rosemary. Rosemary! Jeez. Can we just use that on herself and just raise our power attack by one? <laughs> that would be an asshole thing to do. Just go up to him and be like... Yep, just ate the Rosemary. Just like have the, the trolley's face and go... Tea! No, no not even tea, just like... Just bite it off and go... Alright, I'm out. Oh, man. Thank God you're so stubborn. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Yes. Girls like stubborn guys. Oh, wait, uh, I hate, by the way, I really hate stubborn people. I like how it had us go to the shortcut to get the item to come back here, and now we have to go back to the shortcut. Does that make any sense? Nope. Pretty much the path out is all about the same speed as going through the shortcut. Oh, I almost hit the B button there. Almost. You almost got me to skip this cutscene again. Oh god. Ah damn it. Man. Fuck you, genus. Yeah, but you know what? At least I'm the better student here, I think. Who's the better student, me or you? I think Definitely we're both you. pretty dumb. I'm pretty shitty at school. I'm, dude, I'm not even well, going to college. Well, you have a reason. Uh, Marta's sort of just like, eh. Oh, I thought you were talking about Emil or Marta. Yeah, I, that's I, what I'm saying. No, I mean, I Emile thought you were talking Marta. about you and me. Oh. 
I don't know. I think you have your pros and cons. Like, you're better at math. Than, well, actually, you know, I'm pretty good at math. Dude, you're better at, like, algebra and shit I'm like that. not even going to college, dude. Well, that's because you I, earn money. Dude, I work in a bakery. <laughs> well, you're going to earn money, man. And you're going to be rich. It's a minimum wage job. Well, you're going to be rich for, like, an 18-year-old. You won't have to live I'm off 20. ramen. I'm 20. But you won't have to live off ramen, but because you'll eat ramen, you'll be even richer than people who are rich. I, I know. I actually love ramen, so, exactly. you know. I, do, I actually I, do have ramen in my house for once. Hell it's yeah. It's been a while. Bought, like, two boxes of beef flavor. Oh, you ramen. know what pisses me off? All right, every time I eat ramen, I always eat two packs at a time. Yeah. So, but... There's only one pack of ramen left in my house, and no one's gonna buy ramen until all the ramen's gone. And I won't eat just one pack of ramen. <laughs> like, why not just eat a small meal and then eat the ramen as a side dish with it? I don't know. Then again, I also hate the way you make ramen. It just bugs me. What? I'm not only do you microwave it, you put it in a giant container, and then <laughs> as soon as it's done. You fucking put ice cubes in it. Like, you're ruining the broth, man. The broth is like the best part. Then nope. after you do that, you don't even drain the broth to begin with. No, I don't. I don't. Then drink, after don't that, drink the broth. you don't even drink the broth. I do sometimes. Sometimes you're just like, eh, I'm done. It's like, what do you even get out of that eight cents? You're totally wasting all eight cents of it. I eat it how I want. I don't. I don't tell you how to eat your ramen. That's true. What I do is I actually cook it on the stove. Then who has time for I that? I drain the majority. Ain't of nobody the broth. got time for I that. I drain the majority of the broth. Ain't like, nobody got time for broth, that. But not the broth, just the water. Ain't nobody got time for that. There you go. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for and that. And you know the time it takes. To ain't nobody wait for got water time. To... Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. All right, I'm done. But you know what? Go by yourself, bitch. <laughs> I think I got it. Wait. Well, Why is Emil such a dick to her? God. Like, there's really there's no reason for it. He's just like, go study I by mean, yourself. God. The kid's home. I mean, the kid had no friends for the first 16 years of his life. And finally, a, he meets a girl who's willing to be his friend. And she puts out for him. And he's like, go by yourself. Go by yourself. You I know it's rad task, Emil, but still. I wonder if you just had those three. Like, later on in the game, you actually do get to play a little bit as Emil himself. So I wonder if you can actually get that same cutscene. It's like, can you just imagine that with like his actual voice? We should learn about love. Go uh, by yourself. Go by yourself. Uh, go by yourself. Uh, go by yourself. Uh, go by yourself. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But as I was saying, oh, we gotta go to Berg. We don't talk to Regal. No, oh, we don't. Yo, Regal, we got the... Oh, right. He <laughs> Regal doesn't know about the rosemary. Yo, Regal, eat this. No questions. Uh... Regal, why'd you do that, you arsonist? The fuck? <laughs> I hate you. Can I please do another Patrick Warburton voice? I don't really care if you were doing Patrick Warburton. I just found it funny that you were slapping Patrick Warburton on the guy who's least like Patrick Warburton. You had two guys who had deeper voices beforehand. Then you get to Regal, who's just a huge disappointment, and you're slapping Patrick Warburton. <laughs> the only thing that's cool about Regal is himself. His name, his voice is uh, totally stupid. Uh, hey there, buddy. He did it. Yeah, we shoved the plant down his throat and he lived. Yeah. Sweet. Who are, you? Who are you? Yo, can you go help our friend and tell him he's not the fucking arsonist already? So that's what happened. Well, thanks for saving my life, eh, Gusko? <laughs> hey, Gusko. <coughs> hey. Of course. I'll go and explain everything to the present guard right away. Err. It was caused by this strange frog that gave off an intense heat and bright flashes. It ate up all my seafood gels. In other words... A little bastard. It was basically a frog, and it kept using Flash, even though Flash was already used. And you need the gym badge from the next gym in order to use it. I was surrounded... Ah, shit. By the way, fuck you all. Thanks for the rosemary cocksuckers. That was pretty Indeed. fast. I like how it sounds like the characters actually play off what we're saying. It's funny. But they aren't. They're actually trying to be serious. Sometimes. 
Oh, hey, we can cook. Does anyone level up? Anyone? Anyone at all? Just start cooking and see what happens. No, nope, no one wants to level up. I fucking hate this bird now. It just pisses me off. I don't want that. It wants the hearts. Yeah, take the rice. Inari. What Inari? the fuck? I don't know. That looks good. Okay, well, we got him a little bit of HP. pretty shitty meal, though. Yeah. Maybe you have to get their sync up. Maybe that's what it is. Like, maybe if you get more sync, you can get different monsters. I have no idea. Or maybe it's just you keep evolving within the tree, and for the poor Austria, all he gets is, like, two fucking birds. And then you miss the Austria for the rest of the deal. I don't know. I've explained everything. They're releasing him. You can go see him now. Hey there, Cusco. <laughs> I kind they never give this poor bastard a voice. No, they did. Did they? Oh, well, you have Patrick I just kept Warburton. voicing over him. Yeah. Why the hell are you giving Patrick Warburton his name? Yeah, thank God you're free, even though you're still wearing those handcuffs. Oh, you know, you're great. Thank you there, Emil. Okay, you need to choose one or the other to have Patrick <laughs> nope, Warburton every, voice. Nope, every big guy has, has a Patrick Warburton voice. You don't even do a good one. You just do a mediocre one. I'm sorry that I had... <laughs> Damn. Why the poor guard? Now the guard has to get I'm Patrick sorry that Warburton. I ever doubted you. Let me take off those handcuffs there. I'm just imagining, like, an animation of this, and just everyone's fucking Patrick Warburton. Just Patrick Warburton fucking everywhere. I can't find the key. Maybe I dropped it somewhere. Graduate <laughs> time for your class at guard school. It all ladies Lloyd were here. He'd be able to pick the lock in no time. Hopefully I won't get arrested a second time for destruction of property. Hadouken! Oh, actually he just broke his... I want to be able to do that. <clears throat> and you're not exactly known for not being able to fucking wreck shit. Because he just ripped his handcuffs in half. Oh, he's so swag. He's He might have a worse voice, but he's still got that swag. He's actually kind of more badass in this game. Because he's just so suave. Oh yeah, the best part about him, he doesn't even wear this clothes anymore. He actually wears new clothes. Isn't it know, also finally. for the whole game? Not also. for the entire game, but for a good portion of it. Like when you're fighting with him, he wears it? Yeah, sometimes. But what, he actually changes back to these clothes later. Wait. Oh yeah, I know that. But then he'll change back to his suit. <clears throat> Which is freaking amazing. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. Also, who's going to play as Regal? I guess we'll have to throw him into the party. Genus hasn't been doing anything because he's not dynamic anymore. So Genus doesn't really do much, does he? Nope. He doesn't even like help out in like, the unison attacks. It's all rain because rain casts way more spells. Alright, where the fuck is he? Oh, he's probably at the end. That makes sense. Yo, ladies, I hope you don't mind me changing right in front of you. The uh, pants are coming down. Oh, wait, it's just actually, he, I'm not changing. And his 10 inch dick just slaps the floor. Okay, I wasn't going there. You're actually describing what his naked body looks like. It just slides off his pants. Like, you never know. Maybe, maybe he's impotent. You just hear a really loud thud. Maybe he's impotent. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. It's Lila. That. Bitch. Maybe I should consider Actually, her. Actually, I kind of like Lila to be honest. She's a slut. Not really. She just waits for Pietro, and we never delivered the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never did. We never delivered the letter. That's the thing. Where the fuck is Pietro? We've played anyway. the game like three, so many four times. times. Never found Pietro. We never found Pietro. Never found him. Is a quest. But we don't care, and we're never gonna look it up because it's probably not worth jack shit. We never fought Maxwell either. I'm back here changing with the little girl. Don't come over here and look. I'm pretty naked right now. Oh my! With the little girl. The little girl's not looking. She's playing a hide and seek game right now. Just go come looking for her. Where the fuck did he go? Did we just have to leave? That's probably what we have to do, isn't it? I have no idea where Regal is. Oh, hey, what's your Oh, what's your we, have to, we actually have to stay at the end. By the way, this man is the bane of my existence in the first game. Because there's, like, a guy you have to... Oh, do we have to stay at the end? Yeah. Oh, why didn't you tell me that? I just said it. Let me 
just said it. Oh, welcome. Oh, welcome. Uh, we know you saved the person in our town and you've done so much for us, but you still gotta pay. Fuck you. It's a dollar. It basically is. Well, no, it's, it's a not. dollar. It's a hundred gold. Gold. And uh-huh. it's fucking gold. It's a hundred pieces not a, of gold. It's not gold, it's gold. Do you know how much... Oh, okay. But it still looks like gold to me. It's the same difference. Yo, we're out of here. Rowdy. I think we have to go back to the... Son oh. of a... Why you gotta Stay do this thing again? I love how there's no beep on you. Just go back into the town if you accidentally go through. You have to, like, actually select it still. Or where the hell is this fuck? Regal, I love you and all, but you need to come over. Where you at, Regal? Well, there's Berg. Maybe talk to Berg? Berg probably has nothing important for us. Oh. Berg actually well, has something important bridge. for us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this voice is so boring. Sure. Yes, please. That was probably actually something we were supposed to ask about. Oh boy, we're getting more Governor General door music. Oh my god. That's like one of the first times you hear it. Wow, that's pretty pathetic, Regal. How is he wearing sunglasses? Who has sunglasses? Nobody. Except for probably Professor Cat. Professor Cat probably has a pair. I hate you. Or Blackie. Blackie might have a pair. <laughs> Blackie. Cat loving boy. My cat's name is Blackie. Blackie the cat. So you slapped it and then you. Wait, what? You slapped fire. No shit. Poison dart frog. That's yeah. That's one of those poisonous dart frogs. There's also like a golden dart frog, which is even worse. I think I remember prep. Properly. Frogs fucking suck. They do. There's like. Oh some... my god! Listen. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, is this shit again? <laughs> so basically, we're just at. We're assholes to him. Pretty much. Tenebrae. We're such assholes. I know, a, I know he is. Tenebrae's an asshole. Yeah, I know, but we were just such assholes there. We were like, oh yeah, light frog, light frog, light frog. Oh well, that's drovy, that's drovy, that's drovy. That's groovy. Yo. All right, how long have we been going on this session? I have no idea, but I want to keep going because I'm on a roll. I don't know. We should probably finish up soon. Yeah, we probably should. <clears throat> well, let's just have a nice oh, chat with you. Oh, hello. Good morning. I think it I It just got really sexy up in here. I think Emil just lost the babe. I think Emil just I got a hard on. I think Gina's lost his sister. I think Emil just got a hard on. I think Regal just got a hard on from looking at himself. He's like, damn, you are so fine, boy. He still has the metal greaves on. Well, of course. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. I love how everyone just calls the boy. You know what? That's probably why he's an asshole. Because we're all assholes back. There's no friendship here. Everyone's just an asshole to everyone. Doesn't matter. Everyone's an asshole. Fuck you, Tenebrae. I can just imagine someone coming out of nowhere and just stabbing like that. Because seriously, it's in the middle of ev everyone's sight. Someone will just come up and stab the shit out of him. Also, okay. it's looking very, very untemperate right now. Look at all those clouds. They're rolling pretty fast. Okay, storm's blowing in. I love Regal's theme, by the way. So suave. Just that light club What's music. What's that thing on Marta's back? 
Is that like her little backpack? Like a Pokemon backpack? Yeah, it's her little satchel. It's a satchel. Indiana Jones had one. Yeah. Rain. What? By the way, since she's the only one with a noticeable backpack, she's carrying everything. Yeah. For him. She has all that shit in her backpack. I'm assuming apple gels probably aren't as big as they sound, and maybe life bottles aren't. But dragon wings and fucking, like, tentacles and feelers. That, that's How about awesome. other weapons and clothes, you know? Seriously. Maybe it's one of those bottomless bags, like in uh, Scott Pilgrim. The one that uh, Ramona Flowers has. Maybe. You know, she pulled or maybe out, it's like the bottomless bag that she uh did pull out Felix a giant has. freaking hammer out of a bag that was the size of a little purse. Maybe it's like Felix the Cat. Or maybe she has Kirby in there. It's just Kirby. Kirby's an endless vacuum too. There's a lot of people that have endless vacuums. No, that 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 backpack is Or maybe she's Urza. like maybe she's like Fallout Man who it's can lift three hundred from... pounds without a backpack. That's Fallout Man for you. <laughs> Because he's like a pack mule. He's a man. Fallout Man is like the manliest character ever invented. It's Urza. You know, she has that, uh... Bottomless bag? Uh, shit, what's that called? Not the, a bottomless bag. The bottomless pot? No. It's that magic she uses that lets her switch weapons and clothes. Ursula? Urza. From, uh... Oh. Fairy Tale. Oh... That's because she just has, like, a magical storage in, like, subspace emissary or some shit like that. I, I guess know. it's what, it's what uh, Midna does in Twilight Princess. Cause, yeah, she just pulls that's stuff the like only game where Link actually doesn't carry all of his stuff. Midna just has it in a, another dimension. Yep. Ironically, one of the most unrealistic Zelda games is one that has more common realism. That actually makes sense. I like how the screen blacked out. Wood, show yourself! That was actually pretty funny. Current Affairs. I love Current Affairs. That's like my favorite class. I never imagined we'd be reunited under these circumstances. Oh, right, this is actually really funny. Where's the Dante? Wait, has Rain started hitting on Regal yet, or the other way around? Did that happen? We missed it? No, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, then. Yes, that's why I wanted to merge the world's major trade assets. <laughs> Regal is the Monopoly man. He seriously does have a fucking Monopoly going. <laughs> on, like, everything. On handcuffs, of all things. Fucking handcuffs. And deodorant, or cologne, I should say. But we'll get into that later. Oh, uh, joy. We really need to finish up this session. Yeah, we do. It's been a fun session, though. Might as well just go in the end. Yeah. I got also saving the overworld. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to see where we're going next, so I'll save the overworld. Ah! Next time on Tales of Symphonia. Dawn of the New World. Yeah, I'll slap that in. Of course. Of course. But, next time we're going to... What? Where the fuck do we gotta go next? What? Oh, man. Where do we go? Blow me. Okay, let's find out. Uh, we have the menu. Uh, okay, let's go look at Emil's diary. Oh, uh, let's, let's read up on his diary a little bit. So thanks to the strong effects of the rosemary that Emil found with all of our help, of course. Oh, right. I forgot. When he goes pink text, it means Marta's writing. Uh. Marta here. Emil, I'm not sure if you realize it, but I think you're the one who has the most adamant about not giving up when looking for the rosemary. So have some self-confidence. You're getting braver all the time. Oh, my okay? God. I love how this exists. There's... 80 fucking pages of this. It's a fucking book. Okay, where we go next? Oh, well, Lenore. anyway, the ship should be able to leave the... T oh, we oh, actually... Oh, we gotta go to the, the harbor. Ah. All right, so we stay in Azul. But Fair let's... enough. So next time, on Tales of the into all the New World and just hit himself with his own controller. Oh, boy. We are going to go sail off to Flanor, one of my more favorite towns in the game.
We've been going for a while. Any closing thoughts? I just realized I have not drank my Coke this whole time. You had a Coke? Mm-hmm. You asshole. He's an asshole. Asshole. You never know what he's gonna squander next. He's an asshole. Asshole. Yes, giggity, I got giggity, a Giggity, giggity, poo. Coke. We went for two and a half hours. Not yeah. Bad. Yeah. Bet we were ass recording we did. this whole time. Yeah, we were. I would have beat the shit out of you. Uh, that would have no. Been I would have so, just fucking left. That would have been so funny to explain on the next session. Yo, guys, we're in a zoo and regals in our party. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Ah. Uh-huh. BF, the audio failed. I just recorded over the whole thing with my own delicious audio. This woman has, like, some problems. She's, like, pacing back and forth. She has some serious uh, anxiety uh, issues. uh, The man wouldn't give me a ride. Oh, man. I hear this shit about my dad. Oh, man. And, of course, they can always get the fucking Oh, man. But no. I'm so hot right now. No. I don't even not know what's going me. on. I'm not the fucking protagonist, so I don't get a boat. What is this? B- 